So today's video is going to be about the Battle of the Bonnets, okay? Le Bonnets. <laughs> so they were taking it to France. Okay, um, before I get into the video, I want to apologize for being MIA. Life happens, you know, 2020. <laughs> Woo. Okay, so I hope you guys are staying safe. Um, staying woke. <laughs> staying educated. Mentally healthy. Taking care of self. Okay. <laughs> that was a long intro, but I think it was needed. I hope you guys are okay wherever you are. Um, yeah, so... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, my Olivia speaking. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. And if you're not new to my channel, welcome, welcome. So wait, before I get into the video, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, smash that subscribe button, in fact. <laughs> and there's gonna be a bell that comes up next to it. Hit that subscribe button, make sure it's on all so that every time I upload a video, you get to enjoy spending some time with me. So today, like I said, is gonna be the battle of the bonnets. Now, what is a bonnet for those of you that do not know? Um, a bonnet is basically a dambala. It's like a head wrap that usually is worn when going to bed. It just, it has its benefits, y'all. And I enjoy its benefits. <laughs> like, um, it helps keep your hair out of the way, one. Two, it helps reduce frizz. Three, it helps reduce tangles. Four, it helps reduce breakage. Five, it encourages hair growth. Like, if you don't own this, get yourself one. Um, whether you are permed, whether you are Indian, whether you are Mexican, whether you are Zambian, whether you are Congolese, whatever race you are, whatever hair texture you are, get yourself one of these. I'm going to be telling you which one in a second, okay? Um, so this video is going to help you choose which one you would want to buy, okay? Both of them work. Both of them do the job. So like this one is Chitenge or Ankara on one side and sateen on the other side and this one is sateen and sateen i made both of them by myself so i was able to make them according to my fit um yeah so we're gonna start with this one this one is elastic it does all the benefits stated before the only disadvantage the only thing i hate about this is the elastic okay um Luckily, I get to do mine by myself, but the first few days or one week, that elastic tension is just, you know, um, it gets to me. I get migraines very often, so I don't want anything that encourages my headaches or makes my headaches worse, okay? So, like I said, I do it by myself, so it's easy for me to release the elastic and, like, you know, let it be a bit looser. That's... Disadvantage number one. Disadvantage number two is the elastic loses its elasticity with time. Okay. When I first made these, I did not realize that that's what was going to happen. I don't know how I didn't see it on YouTube or other YouTubers videos, but yeah, I had to figure it out by myself. <laughs> um, I just noticed a few months in that my bonnet, I would wake up and my bonnet is on the other side and I'm on the other side and I would wonder, but why is it? Am, am I wrestling in my sleep? But no. It's because my elastic lost its elasticity and my bonnet was just sliding off in the middle of the night. And yeah, it's actually a quick fix. You can do it by yourself. If you want me to help you or if you want me to show you how to do it, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, you can get it done by a tailor or someone near you. All they need to do is change the elastic or reduce the elastic and it will be tight again. Okay, so she works. I just don't like that I have to change the elastic very often. Um, this is the one with the rope. Before I even get far, she's the one. She's the winner. Whoa, she's the winner. <laughs> um, so yeah, this bonnet has, like I said, rope. She is big. I had to make her to accommodate my braids. But yeah, if you want to get yourself one of these, let me know. <laughs> my handles are going to be left down there. Don't hesitate to message me. I make them. I sell them. Okay, back to the back to the to competition <laughs> um so what i like about this i'm going to be putting it on as i speak what i like about this i'm going to come closer okay i'm coming close okay she's on um what i like about this bonnet i'm looking at myself in the viewfinder is it called a viewfinder if it's on your phone <laughs> like i'm asking seriously guys because we don't got no canon sorry okay so my hair is all tucked in. 
I'm looking for the other side. There it is. So you, you cross the ropes in the back. You cross the ropes in the back and you are able to tie to the tightness you want. So you can make it really tight. You can make it loose. And like I said, I get a lot of headaches very often. So this is where I'm able to tighten and loosen, you know, as I see fit. And she is very comfortable. That elastic, you don't get problems that I mentioned in this, in this one. And both of them work. It's just I prefer this one because you don't have to struggle with the elastic. Okay, so if this video... If you found this video helpful, please comment in the comment section below. If you own a bonnet scarf, let me know which one you own. And do you agree with my points or, you know, comment in the comment section. Let's interact. Let's. And for those of you that are watching this video to choose which bonnet you should go for, I suggest you go for this one. She is the winner. Alrighty. Okay, so um, that brings us to the end of the video. This video is supposed to be short. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure you're subscribed, comment, spread love. Love from me to you. See you in my next video. Bye.